Hi everybody. Oops. Hi everybody. How are you doing? Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Let's get started. I'm get some music playing. I'm going to invite my guest on. Welcome. Welcome everybody. Ooh. Amen. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in, saints of God. Come on in, everybody. How are you? I think I might, this might be, is this too dark, guys? Let me know. Hey, Henrietta. Trying, I think it's really too dark. I can't. Is this too dark? Is it too dark, Henrietta? Let me know, darling. How was your day? How was your day? Glad to hear it. Hope everything goes well. Come on in, everybody. Let me see if I could bring on Marie. Oh no, it doesn't do it on this one. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Hi everybody. Oh. <laughs> Marie, you ready? Oh, okay, Marie, I'm going to bring you on. i take my glasses off so I can actually see this. Um, Hi, everybody. Henrietta. Hi, thank you for sharing. Marie, come on so I could, um, so hard to see.
and this is it's so hard to see Oh, lava. Welcome everybody. Welcome everybody. Oh, I'm turning the thing around. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Marie is getting ready to come on. Marie, I'm come on my Facebook page and say that you want to be you want to be invited on. Can you do that Welcome on your everybody. phone? Welcome everybody. Oh, I'm turning the thing around. Sorry, y'all. Marie is getting ready to come on. Marie, I'm come on my Facebook page and say that you want to be you want to be invited on. Can you do that on your phone? Welcome everybody. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing, Henrietta. Thank you guys for um for being on. Let me know. I know I'm about to hang up on this one. Let me see. Is that better, Henrietta? Because I did hear the echo in the background. So this should be actually better. Hey, good evening, woman of God. How are you? How are you? Thank you. What you did, but I couldn't see because it's dark. But y'all, it's too dark, guys, because it looks extremely dark to me. It looks extremely dark to me. Marie is just adding herself on. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Can you guys hear me and see me? We can. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you did it! <laughs> huh? What did well, you do? Apparently, I thought I could use um, Facebook Live on my computer, but I can't. I can only use it on, on, on my phone. Oh, no. so, they changed. But, but, I see that they did all that changing. I mean, like, Facebook is really doing a, um, lot. Doing a lot, doing too much. So what I want to do, guys, is on, Maria is on, um, is this too far? Anyway, and everybody, please hit the share button. Please hit the share button. I'm going to try it again on my other Facebook page on this. But hit the share button when I'm ready to start. I will get the word from the Lord tonight. I am so excited. I know there's a word from the Lord tonight. I know there's a word from the Lord tonight. Oh, it's not. Now let me see if I can do it without my other Can you guys hear me? I know. Okay. So what we're getting ready to do, everybody take the time to share this video. Amen. You share your own video. Marie, can you hear me? 
<laughs> you're breaking up. Is it is it you, Darcy, or is it me? Because I I hear you coming in and out. Amen. Okay. That might be. Okay. I'm getting ready to start. It's me. It's better now. No, you're still coming in and out. I can't really hear you. You're breaking. That's you. I cut my off. Can anybody, everybody hear me? Henrietta, can you hear me? How's that, Marie? That's fine. I could hear you. Keep talking. Let me see if it goes out again. Maybe I might have to change positions. One of the things that I'm doing is that um, this week we're going to have another guest speaker on um, Friday night. We have another speaker, Prophet Pastor Bobby Bobby Bobby, Bobby, Bobby Smith from um, California. Awesome man of God, you going to be blessed. Um, I actually put it up on the page so you um you can come on posting all week long to share it. It's going to be a fun God. And on Saturday, we are doing a day of prayer on Saturday. I have people that are giving different time slots that we're filling up. Are filling it up, and so um, if you're interested in coming on, taking some time to pray to on slot inbox me, inbox me and let me know if you are interested in doing this. On slot. On slot. So, I'm about what God is getting ready to do. I'm gonna play some music. I'm going to um, go upstairs because I'm in the basement, so I'm going to try to go upstairs and see if that would make a difference because you're coming in um, in and out. So okay. I'll be back. So I got to hang up and then you could, okay. and I'll call you back in. Okay. <laughs> Amen. So we are getting ready to get started. I'm excited for what God is getting ready to do tonight. I'm excited about this awesome move of God. So thank you all for coming in. Thank you for bearing with me. I promise you I'm going to get this right. I'm going to get it right. It is really difficult, but thank you. Um, thank you, Henrietta, for sharing. Um, Tanika, can you please share, if you don't mind, can you please share this video? Amen. Please share the video. Yes, please share this video. Let me get some more people on. So that's Henrietta, Dana. We're getting ready to get started. I am so excited about what God is getting ready to do. It is going to be powerful and it is going to be awesome. And we're about to see the move of God. Amen. So please get ready. Please get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Okay, so we're getting ready to get started. I'm just waiting for Marie to come back on. So I have these announcements to make. We are ready for the um, this weekend. For the um, we're doing a day of prayer and a day of intercession this weekend. I cannot believe the 30 days is almost up. Today is day 22 that we have been coming together and praying for 22 days. 20 two days amen and i just believe god is pleased with our time of intercession our time of coming together in prayer so please um 
just that we have eight more days. We have eight more days, everybody. Eight more days, and we would have completed our assignment of prayer. Uh, we would have completed your assignment, our assignment for prayer. Amen. Thank you, Danita Clark, for visiting us tonight. God bless you, sis, for being a part of our um, our night of intercession. Amen. Our speaker was having some technical difficulties, but she'll be right back. And so we're just blessing the Lord. Listen, let's pray. Father, we thank you for this time of sharing tonight. We thank you, Lord, because you are awesome and you are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy to be lifted up. Lord, we exalt your name. We call you glori glorious, mighty, O oh God, wonderful Savior. You are wonderful. You are mighty. You are awesome. We love your name. We love everything about about you we love we love who you are god and we just thank you for what you're getting ready to do tonight we thank you for everything you're going to speak and everything you're going to share we thank you oh god that people's lives are going to be forever changed people's lives are going to be forever changed i prophesy your life will never be the same again. We thank you in advance for all the healings that you're going to do. I thank you for miracles, signs, and wonders. I thank you that you're going to speak expressly to our souls and to our hearts. Father, we worship you and give your name all the glory. We bless you, Father, because there is none like you in all of the earth. You are so glorious. You are so Almighty Father, if we had 10,000 tongues, there is no way that we can praise you enough. There is just no way that we can have enough words to say, God, you are from everlasting to everlasting. You are awesome. You are mighty. You are great. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. Beautiful for any kind of situation. God, we glorify you. We are so excited. We are so excited for what you're doing and how you're doing it, how you're pulling everything together. We thank you that all things work together for our good. You're taking from the good and you're taking from the bad and you're mixing it together. Father, we thank you for what you're mixing. We thank you for what you're cooking. We thank you what you are blending together. You're taking out tears. You're taking out happiness. You're taking sorrow. You're taking joy and you're mixing it together. And by the end of whatever it is you're making, all things are working together for our good. All things are working together for our good. And Father, we just glorify you. We praise you for what you are doing. We lift our hands up and we say thank you. Good, bad, ugly, indifferent. We thank you. We thank you, God. We put a praise on our lips. We thank you, God. We thank you that you are awesome. You are mighty. You are gracious, oh God. We bless your name. We bless your name. And we exalt you. We exalt your name, God. We love you. Thank you. Hey, Dana. We do come into agreement for what God is getting ready to do tonight. We thank God, Father, for yes. taking authority over this system, this air system. Yes. We speak to the, the problem with the sound, and we declare that the sound will come together. It will be out fine. Everybody will hear and be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. This is, this is not going to prolong the time. I have a young lady that I had the pleasure of her entering and still entering. Amen. She's a jewel. But more than being a jewel, she, I mean, she's educated. So she's educated and um, a prophet, but she's a powerful God. Something in her, in our, God is doing something in her.
this hour. I just want you guys to hear what the Lord is. Let me know. Is the music loud? No, the music is fine. Can you guys hear me? We can hear you fine. You hear me clear? Perfect, okay. perfect. I guess okay. it was being in the basement. Yep, it's a little crack. We're good. Listen, I am an intern to others. My friend, my sister, a man, um, this great woman of God, I'm profiting poorly. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm still getting used to that day. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I just thank God so much for just being here tonight because God has been dealing with me with this word for, a, for about a couple weeks now. Um, and I'm just excited that he has given me the opportunity to release the word on tonight. It's I believe it's going to bless everybody and it's going to touch everybody in such a powerful way. But before I go on, and I know, um, Darcy, you had already prayed, but I just want to play a song just to begin to just set the atmosphere for God. So I am going to play this song. Um, if you can, can hear it, let me know. If not. Right you can hear Jesus. And let's just get into the presence of God. Let's just, you know, worship him, praise him. Because if you are here tonight, you you have a reason to praise God. Amen. Just let this song minister to your heart. Oh my God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, God. Worship you, Lord. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We praise your name, Jesus. Mm. Oh, Lord. Praises to your name. Yes. 
Father, you're so worthy to be praised, God, and we sing praises to your name, God. For everything that we go through, Father God, we still sing praises to your name, God. Because you are Jehovah Rapha, you are Jehovah Nisi, Father God. You are our peace, so oh God. You are the one, Father God, that gives us the strength every day, God. Your joy, Father God, is our strength. Even when we want to give up, Father God, you said, Father, to hold on for, for, for due season, Father God. We shall reap our harvest if we think not, Father God. And so, Lord, we just give you all the praise and all the glory. Oh, Father God, we praise you. When we don't even feel like going on, Father God, you give us that strength and we praise you, God. When we don't know our beginning and our end, Father God, we praise you because you are an all-knowing God. And you know what is before us and you even know what is behind us, Father God. And you got us covered, Father. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Father, you have your way tonight, Lord. We don't just want this this to be just a broadcast father but we want to feel your glory we want to feel your presence we want to feel your anointing father god we want even though i'm here god but it's touching every single person that is online father god and as people are watching this broadcast so that they will be able to know your presence and your presence will invoke every single household invoke every single heart even the people in the homes father god that might not be listening father god but you can go into their rooms. You can go into their jobs. You can go into every area, Father God, and just touch them, Father God. Touch them, Lord Jesus. Let your glory, Father God. We need your glory on tonight, God. We need your glory. We need your glory on tonight, God. Let your glory fall. Let your glory fall, Father God. And so, Lord, we just thank you. We just thank you, Jesus. We just thank you, Father. Thank you, God. Oh, thank you, God. I, I'm, I'm just going to go right into the word tonight. And, um, and God gave me two verses with it. He gave me Luke 1, 26. Luke 1, verse 26 to 38. And it's a long one, but I'm just going to paraphrase it. And what it is, is, is when the angel visit Mary and told Mary that she was with child. And Mary did not know a man. And how can that be? How can she be with child when her, when she didn't even know a man? She didn't even have sex. How is it that she's able to have a child? And then the next one is John 16, 21, where we see that she went to visit. And so tonight, the word that the Lord laid on my heart is, don't leave the labor room without giving birth to your promise. All right. It's not by accident that we are in the month of September. And the month of September is the ninth month. Yes. And we go and we carry a baby or we carry a pregnancy for nine months. And at the end of that nine months, it is time to give birth. Yes. And so this is the month, this is the time where God is saying that it's time for you to give birth. For all those things that you've been carrying, all those promises, all those nations that you have within you, yes. this is your time, this is your season to give birth. 
It's not by accident that we spent time with this COVID where, where we had to be put away for a little bit of time. And in that little bit of time, we had to spend time with us. We had to spend time with our own selves because God had to show us what was inside of us and the things that we needed to get rid of. Because sometimes we allow people to tell us who we are rather than listening to the voice of God. And because of that, we don't give birth to the promise. But what we do is we abort the promise because when a person finds out when a female finds out that she is pregnant from either a doctor or from a pregnancy test she has a decision to make and that decision is am i gonna keep this baby or am i going to abort this baby and so a lot of times when we make that decision we have to deal with ourselves because within our minds we are saying how can i have this baby i don't have a job i i'm living at i'm, I'm living at my parents house i don't have a husband i do this is not the right time so the, so the person decides to abort that baby Baby. But however, if she makes a decision to even keep the child, she might go and talk to her friend. She might go and talk to her, her, her boyfriend. She might go and talk to her parents. And if those people are not part of the plan or are not part of the process or are not part of the connection that God has brought, they got to make you think, oh, you cannot have this child. You too young. You don't have the right job. You don't have the right education. You you don't have the right whatever you need that they think you need. And so you decide to listen to them. And so because you decide to listen to them, you decide to abort the promise. But I come tonight uh, to prophesy, to declare and decree uh, that you will have your baby. I don't know, Sticky. And there will be no abortions uh, at all. And you will give birth to the promise that God has for you. Hallelujah. I come tonight. Every demon that is trying to hinder you from giving birth, from obtaining the promise that yes. God has as for you, I declare and I decree that all those demons shall die by fire, shall die by the fire of the Holy Ghost, and you will carry this baby, and you will carry this promise to full term, because there's no abortion in, 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 in the spirit, because when God puts something in you, he's already made provision. When God puts something in you, he already has the plan because the word of God says the step of the righteous man are ordered by him and so when he gives it to you he already knows all the obstacles that you're gonna be facing he already knows all the challenges that are gonna be coming your way and he already has a plan for all those things but are you living by faith because the word says that we have to live by faith and not by sight because if you live it by sight you're gonna miss it you're gonna miss it you're gonna miss it because you're living by what you see you're living by your limits you're you 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 are living by your own perception but we gotta know that my perception is not god's perception my limit is not god's limit because god is a limitless god god is a god of the impossible because what is impossible to man is possible to God. So whose sight are you seeing? Are you living by sight? Are you trusting God that even though I don't know where this is going to come from, but God, I'm trusting you. I'm trusting you. I'm trusting you. I'm trusting you, God. So, so, so let's say now you've made it to the point where you say, I'm going to keep this child. 
I'm not going to abort the promise. I'm not going to throw it away. But I'm going to move in the direction where, where, where I am going to keep it. But we all know through that keeping, there is a preparation time. Yes. You got to prepare yourself for that baby. You got to prepare yourself for that, for, for that newborn. So if you were doing some type of, so if you were not getting enough sleep, you got to adjust your schedule yes. to make sure that you are getting the proper sleep. If you are not eating the proper nutrition, you got to adjust your feeding and your eating habits to make sure that you're eating properly. If you were not getting the proper medical attention, you got to make sure that you have insurance to be able to go get the medical need, the medical attention that is needed for this new birth that is within you. And it's the same thing with God. If you got some stuff in you, some attitude, some characters, some behaviors that is hindering you from preparing yourself from what God is about to bless you with, you got to make some changes. You got to adjust. You got to get rid of some things. So if you have some friends that are not bringing you towards closer to your purpose, to your promise, you got to let those friends go. You got to let those people go because you can't bring them along with you in the time. You got to say goodbye to them. But sometimes, you know, we want to keep people around because we don't want to hurt people. But when we don't let people go, what we're really doing to ourselves is we're hurting us. Ooh. We care about the person so much that we don't want to hurt them. But what we're doing is we're really hurting ourselves. Because we're not allowing God to do what he needs to do and to take the process that we need to go through so we can see the full birth of our promise that God has for us. So whenever God tells us that we got to let some things go or we got to change some things or, 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 or the words that come in our mouth have to be different. We got to be able to say, Lord, not my will be done. Just like Mary said, God, not my will be done. Just when, when the angel told her, she said, nevertheless, if that's what God wants, let it be. Just like Jesus said in the garden, Lord, not my will be done, but thy will be done. Because Jesus knew that there was a greater promise. There was a greater purpose to what he was going through. And sometimes those friends will remind us of our past. Those Ooh. friends will remind us where we came from. And because of that, we're going to start looking backwards. We're not going to look forward to what God has for us. Not only do we have to deal with people. But we got to deal with our own self-negative mindset. My God. Because sometimes we, we, we've been told that you can't do this. And so we grow up thinking we can't do it. We've been told that you don't have this. And we grow up thinking that we don't have it, which means we can't do it. But we got to know that God has already given you all that you need. Because your God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and his glory. Yeah. And, it, and you might not have what you think you need, but God has a lot of people in his kingdom and he can touch the heart of someone and say, my daughter needs this. And that person can come to you with exactly what you need. Yeah. That you thought by keeping people around or by your negative self-talk, that's what you needed. But God already knows what you need because it's his plan. It's his purpose. And he has to see it come to full fruition.
because he's not a God that he shall lie. What he says that he's going to do, he's going to do it. And he watches his word. Yes. He watches his word. To perfect yourself, he's watching his word. That means that he knows what you're going to need to bring that word, to bring that blessing, to bring it to pass. So now that you have gone to the point of preparation, now the Lord told me that this is where we're at. And this is why we've been feeling this, this, this transition, this shift has been happening. And that's because we are now moving into the labor room. Oh and because we're moving into the labor room, the oh shift has to begin to happen within your body. The shift has to begin to happen within you, which means that the baby has to begin to, to turn itself around. You have to begin to dilate. You have to, 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 to begin to get to the point where you're sick and tired of what you're going through. I know when I was carrying my child, I got sick and tired of being pregnant. I was like, God, it's time for this baby me to come out uh, even oh though I knew that my nine months was was coming but it was the shift that took place my and many of us have felt that shift that has taken place yes and we're asking God what is going on Lord what is happening and I can remember when 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 apostle called me and, 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 and she asked me to bring the word. Immediately when I hung up the phone, I heard the Lord say, my children are in labor. My God. They're in labor. And they have to know the signs of labor. But however, we have to be careful. Even though we, we were in labor, but we're not in full labor because guess what happens sometimes? We might get those Brostin Hicks, which ah. means that something looks like the ah. promise. Something looks like what we've been believing in God for. So we now believe that is, that is what God is bringing to us and we get out of where God placed, has placed us, we get out of the position of trusting, of praying, of believing, and now we fall for the false contractions. My God. And because we fall for the false contractions, we run to the hospital, we run to think, we, we begin to take what we think it is, we're praying for that husband. We see this man come in front of us. We think this has to be him. And so we go and try to put that relationship together. Or we're praying for that job. Uh, uh, an agency call us. We think that's that job. Or we want to up uh, loan. We go to the bank. We, we think that's it. But it's not really it. That's just the false of it. And so, and so when that falseness come to play, it's not doing anything to change. It's not doing anything to bring the promises of God forth. It's not doing anything. Just like when false contraction, the breasting hicks happens, it's not really doing anything to your body to bring you into active, active labor. It's bringing you into labor, but it's not bringing you to active labor. Because in active labor, labor there's got to be an intensify of contractions. And with the breasting hicks, it's not the real deal. Ah. And you've heard a lot of people said it's the counterfeit. It's the fake thing. So it's not the real deal. Because we got to get into the active part. Where we begin to feel like the, the, the intensity of the pain is, is, is happening. So now, when you are in false labor, 
you go to the doctor and they send you back home. They say, you're not in active labor. When you <laughs> see these signs, when you see this happening, then come back to us. So some of us need to wait on God. Uh -huh. Don't go ahead of God. Wait on God. You know, when, when, you know, and, and, and I remember when, when, when I was writing this down, God, God said to me, um, it looks like a duck. It quacks like a duck. Then it's a duck. But God said, I don't want to give you the duck. I want to give you the swan. That's what I want to give you, the swan. I don't want you to have the duck. Because the duck is not going to be able to carry you where I need you to go. The duck is not going to be able to bring the purpose and the, and the plan that I have for your life. But I want you to have the duck. I want you to be that. I want you to have the eagle that's going to help you to soar. Yes, God. Above all obstacles. Above all challenges. To take authority. Above the, the, the demons, above the enemy, authority. He, so he wants us to soar, not have the duck. So when God revealed that to me, I thought that was the funniest thing. Because he said, I don't want you to have the duck. You know, not the counterfeit. I want you to have the real deal. My real deal. What I'm bringing to pass. So now you're in active labor. No faith. You're inactive. So now you're in the hospital. But before they take you into the labor room, they put you in the waiting room. Mm. Because what they're doing is they're making sure that you are ready for what is about to happen. My God. They're preparing your mind mentally for what is about to happen. So if you are finding yourself where you are in a waiting room, you see, and, and while you're in the waiting room, you see people coming and going, and you're trying to be like, when is it going to be my turn? When is it going to be my turn? Be still and know that he is God. When yeah. it's your turn, it's going to be your turn. Be still and know that he is God. Know that he will keep you in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on him because he trusts in God. So your turn is coming. Just wait. Because in the waiting room, in the labor room, what they're doing is is they sanitizing the area to make sure that when you come in, there is no germs, no infection, no, 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 nothing that can cause disease or nothing that can cause more problems to the birth. And so why are you in your waiting room? All that God wants to get out of you, let him do. You got to be sanitized because you just can't go into the labor room like that. Because if you go into the labor room without getting all that stuff out of you, you can kill yourself, kill others, or kill the baby itself. So they have to do a thorough cleanup of that room. And so let God do a thorough cleanup of you. Let him remove all that junk that displeases him out of you. Let him do it. And while this is going on, your body is also going through a transformation as well because now you're beginning to stretch. You're beginning to have more intense contractions. You're beginning to feel the pressure 
you beginning to feel all that God is doing within you, the uncomfortableness. You begin to feel that, but it's not time to give birth yet. Because the body is getting into position. So is your body in position to give birth? Come on. Are you ready to give birth? Have you surrendered completely to God? My God. To give birth? Have you surrendered all that is within you? To give birth? Have you said, God, let me die? I, I will die for your purposes, God. I will die for your promises, God. And, and when the Lord showed me that, he said to me that even through birth sometimes, childbirth, labor, the mother dies. That's right, and that's so right. the same way we have to die, the mother might die. You hear of it all the time. And God said that is the same way we have to die. God's purpose and promise and blessing has to be so, like we have to desire it so much that is greater than our own life. My, my, my. And that's why he said that is why sometimes the mother will die because we got to die to self, self-doubt, self-pity. We got to die to our self-pride. We got to die to our fears, our anxiety. We got to die to all of us. We got to die. My God. And so now we're in active labor. Come on. We're in active labor, guys. And this is where we're at right now. God said, this is where my people is at right now. Active. They're in active labor. And in active labor, the contractions get stronger. My God. Because it is through the, con the pain of contraction that your cervix begin to dilate. <laughs> and while it's dilating, you are being stretched. So if you see all hell is breaking loose, start praising God because you're getting ready to go into full delivery of your promise because yeah. it is through that pain it is through that pressure it is through that difficulty it is through those tears Hallelujah. it is through those crying out to God it is through the travailing it is true the telling God I can't take this anymore if you ever seen a woman when she's in active labor and they're getting ready to set her up to, to push, the lady don't care how she looks. So I don't want you guys to care how you look. When you got to go before your God, don't care about if the tears are all over and you got slap going up your nose. <laughs> don't care about what is going on around you. Because your focus is on God. Don't care if you feel like praise dancing. Praise God like you never praised him before. Come on. Because when a person is in labor, she doesn't care how she looks. She doesn't care if her makeup is, is smeared. She doesn't care how people think about her. She doesn't care what people are saying behind her back. Sometimes she can't even hear the doctor talk to her because all she hears is just the pain and all she feels is just that pressure and all that she sees. 
out. Hey, she's got a purse. Hey, Muslima. This promise out. She's got a purse. Yabasso. This husband out. She's got a purse. This business out. She's got a purse. All that God has for her. And all that she's thinking about. Is when am I going to push this baby out? She's not worried about anything. Which is why I said in the beginning. You got to be careful who you allowed to be in the labor room with you. Yeah. Because while you're going through this time, any word of discouragement could throw you backwards where now you begin to get stress, anxiety, fear. And now you've lost your focus. And when you lost your focus, sometimes... The, the stress of the body. The doctor might say, hey, put this oxygen mask on. Because you're losing oxygen. My you are overworking your body. And so you need to breathe. But we all know that it is God that breathes in us. Yeah. We all know that we're living with the breath of God. We all know that that as we're drawing near to God, he is drawing near to you in James 4 8. We all know that, uh, that, that the Lord has set us always before him. And nothing that happens to us shall be able to shake us. Come on, and we got to keep rejoicing. We all know that that I can lift up my eyes to the hills from where cometh my help. For my help comes from the Lord who's made heaven and earth. And so because we know that and God is our refuge and our strength, a very present help in trouble. My. So put on your oxygen mask because you might need it to breathe. Because through all those contractions, through all those pains, you might need a person to keep encouraging you so you don't give up. Which is why we have the midwives or we have the nurses, or we have the doctors, but you have God the Father, God the Son, yes. and God the Holy Spirit. Remember I just said, you have the midwives, you have the doctor, and you have the nurses. There's three, and we got three. So we're complete. Come on, yeah. So we're complete. So we're not lacking anything. Because we got it too. And because we got it too, now we can go. We, we know. Now we got to get into position. There's a position you got to get into. You can't, you can't push, but how do you get into position? You get into position when you feel pressure. Because the doctor, it is through the pressure that your cervix dilate. It is through the pressure that you go before the Lord and say, God, I am going to be in your presence. Come on, I don't feel like I can. And I will not leave until you bless me. I will not leave until I get my answer. And so, God, I'm going to stay here all night. I don't care if it takes me days, months 
But Lord, I'm not leaving because this pressure of what I'm going through is too much. Once you have that pressure, that's when the doctor says, or the midwife says, at the next contraction, Come on. at the next pressure, push. 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 My God. Push. All hell's breaking loose. Push. I don't have a job. Push. My kids are acting up. Push. My husband left me. Push. My wife has left me. Push. My, my supervisor's getting on my nerves. Push. I can't let this person go, Lord. They hurt me so much. Push. God, I don't know what to do. God, I don't feel like I can keep moving. Push. I don't have the money, God. Push. Come on here. I don't know, God, where to turn. Push. I don't know, God, what, 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 what I need to do. Push. 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 Push that baby out. Push that promise out. Push the plans of God out. Push. And on the last push that you just heard me say, it was a cry as if you felt like your whole insides was about to fall and tear up. And all you can do is give a last well. That last well is the last well that got that baby out. That last well is the last well that got your promise out, that got your blessing out, that got all that God had put in you. All the plans, Jeremiah 29, 11 says, for I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper, plans to give a hope, and of a future. They're not plans to harm you. They're not plans to, 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 to kill you. Because that's what the enemy does. He comes to kill, steal, and destroy. But God has come to give us life. And life more abundantly. And because he's come to give us life, and we know that life is not an easy process. So you know you're going to go through some things. But after you've given that life, just like a mother when she gives birth, she forgets about all that pain that it had to take her to give that life. Because now she's rejoicing. She's praising God. And that's the same thing for you. After you've done giving and you have received what God has for you, yeah. there is a time of rejoicing that is coming. Because the word says that weeping may endure for a night. But if you hang on, your joy is coming. Hang on. Don't give up. Because you don't want to leave the labor room without giving birth.
And no matter what it looks like, you tell yourself, because can't nobody clean your mind, but only you. Because when you make a decision, I don't care if the devil himself comes before you and tell you something different. But when you make up within yourself that no matter what it looks like, I am not gonna leave my position. I'm not gonna leave where I'm at. I'm not gonna leave my prayer room. I'm not going to leave my prayer closet. I'm not going to leave my praise. I'm not going to leave my word. I'm not going to leave my time with God. I'm not going to leave my focus on God. I'm not going to leave it. My when you make up that decision within your mind that you're not going to leave it, you will see your promise come to pass. So this is where we're at right now. We are in active labor. Don't leave the labor room. You stay right there and you continue to move forward in active labor. You're transitioned. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. If this word bless you, let me see some hearts come up. I need hearts to hit this hit the Facebook. Come on. I need hearts to hit this. It bless me. I'm trying to figure out the hearts up here. This thing blessed me so much. It blessed me. Come on, y'all. Put some hearts up here. Do something. What a word. What a word. What a word. Thank you. I was looking for my heart. Son. I need some more. I need some more. This was not just a word. There it is. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. That's right. Encourage this woman of God. Encourage this woman of God. This was not just, this was a prophetic word. This was a prophetic word. I'm talking powerful. If I had an organ right now, I believe somebody would be running and somebody would be screaming. Somebody would Dancing, shouting, right now, because this is a word from the Lord. Powerful word from the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. I've been, I've been reading the comments. I have been so blessed. I have been so blessed. I'm so glad that everybody, has, we're going to have um, prophet to pray. If you have any prayer requests, I need you to pray. Prophet, we're going to pray over our globe tonight. Pray over our globe tonight. Like we do every now. If anybody has a prayer request, please put it up there tonight so we can pray. Thank you. Thank you, Harriet. Thank you, Jamal. Tracy. Thank you, everybody. Showing her some love. Listen, I don't know for cash app. If you have a cash app, I believe I don't have to sow, but if you want to sow into this word, go into this word. It doesn't even matter. It's not the amount that you're sowing. Are you putting put the cash app? It's not the amount, but it is the because we are blessed for the word. We are blessed God for the word. The word was so powerful. Oh my gosh. Those of you that are coming on, I need you to go back 
on replay and play this work. She talked about giving birth. You would think she was a nurse or something. You would think she was a nurse. Lord, she broke that thing down. She broke that thing down. And everybody, anybody, if you don't mind, if you don't mind, I need you to soul. I got a lot of you Thursday nights. Just bless me. But instead of bless, can you please this word bless you? Ten dollars. What it is? It's the significance. It is the significance. Marie, did you put the cash app up here? Um, I got up because I'm using this 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 phone. Hold on a minute. Let me. What um. It? What is it? What is it? It's a dollar sign. Oh, you froze up, child. Oh, Lord. Listen, we're going to get it together, and she's going to give it to us. She was a me. She was a me. Tracy, you ain't say nothing but a word. She was a midwife tonight. She was a midwife tonight. Amen. She was a midwife tonight. Listen, um, I'm going to put my cash app in. This is my spiritual daughter, so she knows I'm going to give her her money. She knows I'm going to give her her money. This is my spiritual daughter. Amen. Um, I'm putting my cash app in. What is my cash app? And whatever you send to her, I promise it will go. Whatever you send to my cash app, I will send it to her. I will definitely send it to her. Whatever you bless her with. This was an on-time word. And I know that we are on a Facebook Live. And I know that we're not in the building anymore. But if we were in the building, you know they would lift up an orphan from this woman of God. Because she didn't just give us. She didn't just give us just like a 20-minute word. She, I'm telling you, yokes were destroyed tonight. Yokes was destroyed tonight, and she brought understanding. She brought understanding. I don't know what somebody said. My daughter, brother, and I she see you. P.S. COVID and had a heart attack last night. She knows I'm going to give her her money. Amen. Henrietta, we're going to pray. Don't let me forget. We're going to pray for your daughter's. Your daughter's, um, my daughter brother is, um, and man, we're going to pray for him tonight, but I don't want to let this go, everybody. Take, take two minutes, please. Take two minutes. Oh, she did put it in there? Oh, okay. So, yes, I'm going to take mine off. I'm going to take mine off. Thanks, Trey. Henrietta, we're going to pray. Don't let me forget. So, she put hers in, dollar sign, Marie Claude, 40. I just and pinned I hers. I just pinned hers at the bottom. Listen, we're not begging. We don't have to beg. All I know is that this was an on-time word. This was an on-time word. I'm not going to promise you a house, a car, land. I'm not going to. I'm not going to do all of that. I'm not going to do all of that. You at this time, we have to be mature adults, mature Christians. If somebody blesses you in the word and you heard something, I was watching a lot of the um, the um, the post that was coming up. I know you were blessed. Sow a seed into this woman of God. That's all I'm asking. Sow a seed in this woman of God. Amen. Listen, we're getting ready to pray. I don't know if Marie, Marie, I don't know. Are you still up here? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pray because I don't know where. Amen. Henrietta, I see you. You were truly blessed. And I know you're a giver. I know you're a giver. And, and we get so caught up in the amount. It's not the amount. It's not the amount. It is just a, it, it is just acknowledging that God spoke directly to me and he didn't have to do it. That's what this is about. Amen. It's about God speaking directly 
directly to to you. Let me see if I can get her back on. She's coming back on, and we're getting ready to pray. But please sow that seed tonight. I promise you, it's worth it. She's um coming back on. We're going to pray, and we're done. Amen for tonight. Amen. I bless you. Listen, what I do is that um the first chapter is Henrietta's daughter's brother is in ICU. He has COVID. Had a heart attack last night. His name is Matthew Moore. That's his name. He has COVID. He's in ICU and had a heart attack. He had it last night. I need you to pray for him. If anybody has a prayer request, this is the time to put your prayer requests up there. This is um this is a call it. This is the time to put prayer requests up here. Then we're gonna pray for the globe, Marie. We're gonna pray for this globe. Amen. This is a Tuesday night. We're not gonna be up here all night. It says God like you heal me. There it is. Go ahead, Marie. If anybody has a prayer Amen. 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 I, I, um, we're going to pray, but I just want to thank everybody. I know that, that people were, were touched because while I was, uh, ministering, a moth flew into my, my house. Don't know how this moth flew into my house, but he flew into my house as a sense of a distraction. And, and I was like, I'm focusing straight. And, it, and to the point where it flew, I don't know if you've seen it, but it flew right by my head. And then it went on the other side as if it was trying to get my eyes and trying to get me to lose focus. So even tonight, even tonight, while, while God was, was here, the enemy was still trying to get me off track. Just that quick just that quick and so that's why we have to have our focus on God we have to because especially at this time when we're so close to what God is getting ready to do in our lives when we're trusting him like never before any little thing the enemy will sin and find because my all my windows are closed, all my doors are closed. I don't know where this moth came in, but it came in somewhere, <laughs> and I knew that was a di a distraction. To try to get my mind off focus, to try to bring me astray in another way, get me upset because I'm losing my track. But instead, we got to know that we got to be in perfect peace. Yeah. Even through it. We can't lose. We got to be in perfect peace. So I just wanted to share that. That even tonight. And that just lets me know that this was a now time word. Yes. This lets me know that this was a prophetic word straight from Heaven. Yes. Yeah, let them hear. Let them hear. Yes. Let them hear. Now that you know, there's no questioning. Why am I going through this? Why is this happening to me? You know now that you in active labor. Come on. Yeah. You know it now. Yes. You had your time in the waiting. You had your time in trying to figure stuff out. You can't figure stuff out anymore. Because whether you want it or not, the promise is coming. The blessing is coming. The deliverance is coming. The healing is coming. Amen. Whatever God has for you, it's coming. God. So you just got to be ready to just receive it. And, 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 and tonight, I'm going to do... Everybody that has faith to believe that this is their time, I just want you to give one 
loud push. I'm on here. Just one loud push. If you believe that this word was for you, if you believe, I'm not even going to worry about sowing into my life. Because I know God's going to take care of me. Yes, he is. But I know that God is my provider. So I'm not even worrying about that. But what I'm worrying about is that you get at all that God has for you. I don't know what God has for you. Because not too long, just the other day, he, he, he said to me, what God revealed to you in the secret place. Yeah. You should not care what other people think or their opinions are. Because he revealed it to you. So I don't know what God revealed to you. But you know. I don't know what God promised you. But you know. And so if you believe that you are in active labor, I hear the Lord say, now get ready to push. Hey. As, a, as, as, as a sign of faith. So wherever you're at right now, you are dilated 10 centimeters. Come on. The head is crowning. My God. You are the head and not the tail. Yeah. So the head is coming out. The baby is in position. So I want you to give your push. I want you to get all that you got in you. Just like the doctor said, bear down. If you can bear down, bear down. Oh, you feel I'm like you want to get off your seat, and I did, this is not me, this is God speaking. If you feel like you got to bear down or get off your seat, wherever you are, and you feel like, God, this is for me. Because, God, I've been going through all hell. God, I felt the pressure. God, I felt the pain. Hey. God, I know this is you telling me to push. Hey. If this is you tonight, I declare and I decree yes. in the mighty name of Jesus that you are giving birth tonight. Hey. And I hear the Lord saying to me right now, and this is a new that he's telling me right now, that I am a spiritual midwife. I didn't know that. Oh. But sometimes it's in the practice that you begin to see who you really are. Come on. So God just told me, I am your spiritual midwife tonight. So if this is you, listen to my voice. Ah. And when I say push, you're going to bear down with all your strength and all your might. Hang out and I'll shake it out. 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 You're going to go with all. I'll shake it out. I'll shake it out. I'll shake it out. I'll shake it out. And you are going to push on the count of three. One. Hey. Bear it. Two. Hey. Feel the breath of God. Three. Push. Oh. Woo. Woo. Hallelujah. Oh my God.
God. My God. My God. Woo, my God. You better get up and get up this, girl. My God. Come on. My God. Mm, my God. <laughs> Yes. Mm. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
know who I'm talking to tonight. Whether or not it's God, you got anything else? I'm telling you, God has done something tonight. He give you anything else? We can pray. My well, God, pray because that word was for everybody. It was a word I'm, for every single person I'm, that was on tonight. It was a it was a word for everybody because even I was blessed as well myself. Even I, I was, was blessed a, myself. So God spoke, and I had asked Him before even coming on. I spent time in the Lord, and I said, God, I want this word to go into people's homes and touch people, touch them. Every single person touch them in their own little way because not every birth, as you say, or labor is the same. That's it's right. different. And so my process might not be the same mm -mm. from your process or from Hen um, Henrietta process or from Trady's process because it's special. That's and so true. I ask for God to touch everybody today in a special way. So they would know that it is him that is speaking to them directly. God, God. I feel that God honored that. Yes, he I feel, I, I know that he, he heard the prayer and he honored the prayer. Yes. And all that I can do is just give him the glory. Amen. Give him the glory. I just pray for those people that think, um, like the sister that has her daughter's brother that had the heart attack that had COVID. Okay. After COVID, amen. 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 So let's go into prayer. Yes. Father God, we just come before you tonight, God, and we're just giving you all praise and all honor, Father God. We're thanking you for tonight, God. We're thanking you, Father God, on how you touch every single person that was on this line tonight, Father God. And how, Father God, you have delivered the promises to your people tonight, Father God. I don't know what those promises are, God, but you know what those promises are, God. Uh, and so, Lord, we're lifting up to you, Father God. Hen Henrietta's, um, is it brother or sister? Her daughter's brother. Hen Henrietta's daughter's brother up to you, Father God. Who, oh, Father God, you see what is going through his body, Lord. You see, Father God, every sick, sick and area that is within him, Father. But God, I know that you are a healing God. God. Because your word says, Father God, that by your stripes, Lord, we are healed, Father God. And so, Lord, wherever he's at right now, Father God, go and touch every single area in his body, God. Open up his airways, Father God. Go into the lungs, Father God. Go into the respiratory system, Father God. And begin to declog the areas, God, where, where it's clogged, Father God. Begin to breathe the breath of life back into him, Father God. Begin to, to, to align his, his kidneys, Father God. Begin to put blood back, your blood. Yes. The blood that was shed for us on Calvary. Yes. The yes. blood that washes us white as snow. Yes. Begin to, to, to inject your blood yes. into his body right now, Father God. So he may, Father God, be healed in the name of Jesus, Lord. And so, Father God, I'm just thanking you, God, for the testimony that is going to be coming out of this, Lord God. Yes. And Father God, just like Jesus said, for your glory, Lord, it's not about us, but it's about your glory. It's about you getting all the glory, God. 
It's about you being praised and high and lifted up, Father God. It has nothing to do with us, God. It has nothing to do with what I want, God. But it's what you want, and it's your will that we're asking you tonight, God. And we know what your word says, Father. And so, God, we're just thanking you in advance, God. That, Father God, we thank you for what you're, for what you're doing. We thank you, Jesus. And, Father God, I cannot forget about the glow. Yes. The glow, Father God. Lord, we know, Father God, that this COVID did not happen by accident, Father God. Because everywhere we look, God, we are seeing where people are looking up to you, Father God. When we turn on the TV, we're seeing different nations, different continents, different states, God. They are different areas, God. Australia, Father God. Africa, God. Zambia, Father God. Um, Ghana, Father God. Europe, Father God. Haiti, Father God. Dominican Republic, Father God. China, Father God. Russia, Father God. Lord, all the other little continent. Puerto Rico, Father God. Mexico, Father God. Zambia, Father God. Nah. All the areas, God, that we don't ever heard of, Father. Yes, but Lord, I know that you can bring a word. I know that you can bring a revival into those continents, into those countries, into those places, God. And so, Lord, we're asking for a revival tonight, God. Yes, we ask in Father God that people will surrender their yes. lives unto you, Father God. We ask in Father God that the scales will fall off of people's eyes and they will see a need for you, Father God. Jesus. We're also praying, Father God, that you would bring people, bring missionaries, Father God, bring pastors, God, yes. touch the hearts of neighbors, oh God. Oh, Touch the hearts of your people, Father God, because you said, Father God, that we should go into the nation. We should go into the world preaching the good news, Father. Yes. And so, Father God, everyone that is your children, that is in that, Father God, put that burden in them. Put that purpose in them. Put that plan in them, Father God, for them to go and witness and minister, Father God, and intercede, Father God, for these nations, Father God, that they're living in, for these places, God, that they're in, Father God, so they so they can intercede and embark and go down, Father God, and, and, and war against the enemy for these souls that are being trapped, that are being captivated, oh God. And so, Father God, I just thank you that, Father God, that who the Son has set free is free indeed, Father God. And these people will accept your Son, Jesus, and they will be free in the mighty name of Jesus, God. Lord, I'm declaring and I'm decreeing, God, that heavens will be so overfull that, the, that hell will be empty in the mighty name of Jesus, God. In the name of God. That, Father God, for your people, Lord, will have a relationship with you. And they will surrender and they will give up their life to accept you, Father. God, just have your way. Yes. Have your way in this nation. Have your way in this world, God. Just have your way, Father God. Have your way, Lord Jesus. Have your way. And Father God, I just come against... Um, I'm, I'm, I'm just um, hearing God said, pray for headaches, pray for migraines, pray for any, any pain in head that you have. And so God, we just lift up everybody that is suffering with some type of headache, some type of migraine, some type of pain in their head, even a tumor, Father God. We just lift them up to you right now, God. And we're declaring their decree and their healing right now in the mighty name of Jesus, God. 
And that, Father God, that tumor is going to shrink yes, in the yes. mighty name of Jesus. And it would dissolve itself in yes, the yes. mighty name of Jesus. And that, Father God, they will not cry about pain in the head no more, God. Because yes, we're yes. declaring their healing tonight, God. Do it, Lord. You can do it. You are the doctor, God. You are the surgeon, God. You can do what you you can do what no doctor can do. Yes. You can do what no surgeon can do, Father God. And so, God, when they even go back to their doctor, they will be amazed because they will see that there is a change that has taken place, and there's a healing that has taken place. Yes. And so, Father God, I just thank you. I thank you, God. Yes. Listen, I want you to feel the reason why it may not be anybody else from Haiti, but this is an international community. And this, by Creole, is doing something international. So you have to, have to. The Lord just was just dealing with you. Let, let, make, let you pray. Okay. We'll do. Seigneur, bon Dieu, moi vine devant Seigneur pour pour pou payer nous Seigneur Jésus pour payer qu'on remet Seigneur Jésus pour peuple pour qu'on remet Seigneur Jésus. C'est vous même Seigneur qui papa nous, c'est vous même Seigneur qui met nous, c'est vous même Seigneur qui 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 bon Dieu nous Seigneur Jésus nous pas gain l'autre Seigneur c'est c'est nous même Seigneur Jésus que nous gagnons où est problème père pour yo Seigneur où est Seigneur j'ai a crié Seigneur Jésus j'ai a crié pour 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 délivrance yo j'ai a crié pour guérison yo j'ai a crié Seigneur Jésus pour yo demander côté bon Dieu côté bon Dieu l'ami tant difficulté ça l'ami tant problème ça que moi et côté bon Dieu côté bon Dieu mais Seigneur me connaît comme son bon Dieu qui vivant me connaît Seigneur ou son bon Dieu qui capable me connaît Seigneur ou son bon Dieu qui capable faire toute bagaille pas dans aucune bagaille qui difficile qui t'est pour vous. Pas qu'un bagaille qui est possible pour vous, Seigneur Jésus. Pas qu'un problème, Seigneur, qu'on pas qu'à résoudre, Seigneur Jésus. So, je dis à soi, à Seigneur Jésus. Le ma prier la langue, côté premier, bon, moi, Seigneur Jésus. Le ma prier la langue, Seigneur Jésus, qu'on même qui te mette la bouche, moi, Seigneur. M'levé Haïti, ba où, Seigneur. M'levé France, ba où, Seigneur. M'levé, Seigneur, Dominique Riplable, devant Seigneur Jésus. M'levé tout pays, Seigneur Jésus. M'levé Porto Rico devant Seigneur Jésus. M'levé en Chine devant Seigneur Jésus. M'levé Africa devant Seigneur Jésus. M'levé tout pays ça devant Seigneur Jésus. Côté Seigneur capable de toucher au Seigneur Jésus. Ou capable de délivrer au Seigneur Jésus. Ou capable de faire l'autre force Seigneur Jésus. Mais au Seigneur Jésus, il a crié Seigneur. Il est capable de connaître que y a un bon Dieu qui campe avec eux. Il est capable de connaître que y a un bon Dieu qui a bataille pour eux. Il est capable de connaître que y a un bon Dieu qui te vide, qui te mouri sous la quoi pour yo et si seigneur jésus moi tout merci pour ça moi tout merci seigneur jésus parce que c'est celle ou même seigneur que nous gagne seigneur jésus pas de l'autre corps seigneur jésus seigneur mais nous camper devant seigneur mais nous laguer face nous devant seigneur mais nous laguer tout ça nous devant seigneur jésus pour nous capable être cédé pour monde ça yo pour nous capable être cédé pour pays ça yo pour nous capable être cédé pour problème ça yo président seigneur jésus qui la pays ça yo seigneur jésus touche que président seigneur jésus pour les capables seigneur jésus c'est vous seigneur avec tout cœur li c'est vous seigneur avec toute mémoire seigneur jésus pour président ça yo seigneur capable de diriger peuple la seigneur jésus là où même seigneur jésus voyez mission seigneur jésus voyez pasteur seigneur jésus touche tout le monde seigneur jésus qui le service pour seigneur jésus pour délivrance capable briser pour pour guérison capable briser pour 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 revival capable briser seigneur jésus moi dis merci seigneur moi dis merci seigneur jésus moi dis merci seigneur jésus portez nous seigneur portez nous seigneur jésus nous pas dignes devant seigneur jésus nous plein mauvais bagaille dans nous nous plaît mauvais paroles, nous plaît mauvais pensées, Seigneur Jésus. 
Mais à soi, à Seigneur, moi, je viens devant, moi, je viens demander au pardon, Seigneur. Pardon, Seigneur, pour vous, d'où qu'a fait là, tout le pays, ça, Seigneur. Pardon, Seigneur, pour magie, côté, yo, qui te Satan entré. Côté Satan, ap, 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 prend pays, à pour seulement lui-même. Mais Seigneur, vous connaissez, Seigneur, c'est vous même, Seigneur, qui avez tout contrôle, Seigneur Jésus. Si vous évoqué le contrôle, ou là, tout le pays, ça, yo, Seigneur. Et Seigneur, vous dit dit, volonté, vous soit fait. Volonté au soit fait, Seigneur Jésus. Moi, je dis merci, Seigneur, moi, je bénis nous. Moi, je glorifie nous, Seigneur. Moi, je adore au Seigneur. Je loue nous, Seigneur Jésus. Moi, je loue nous, Seigneur Jésus. Moi, je loue nous, Seigneur Jésus. Moi, je loue nous, moi, je loue nous, Seigneur. Moi glorifier non Seigneur Jésus moi glorifier non moi exalter au Seigneur Jésus moi exalter au Seigneur Jésus yes je te merci Seigneur pour tout ça on va faire tout ça on va continuer à faire Seigneur Jésus moi te merci de nom de Jésus dans le nom de Jésus dans le nom de Jésus non ça qui pique non ça qui comme homme qui a l'air qui pas chame en bas non ça que là que la satan te dénonce ça les dimanteurs dénonce ça yo courir yo pas qu'à camper devant non ça le nom de Jésus le nom de Jésus le nom de Jésus le nom de Jésus yes tout merci seigneur dans le nom de Jésus internationally and we just to declare that we will see the presence of the Lord overseas in Haiti, in the Dominican, in the Sudan, oh God, Barbados, oh God, in Africa, oh God, we thank you. Thank you so much, God. Yes, Jesus. Lord, we just bless you tonight. We thank you for everything that was said and done tonight. Father, I lift you and I just pray blessings of the Lord upon her. Father, I pray <clears throat> bless her ministry. That even if it was a big one for us tonight, God, you have allowed her to burst tonight. You burst her tonight. Thank you for what you have done. I am excited to see what you are on her. You got it. Thank you so much for what my eyes are about to see in her. There's a difference in you. There is a difference in you. I think when you were preaching, there was a difference in you. And I'm telling you, God is giving us to do something. We can thank God for that. We cover our families under the blood. We cover our homes under the blood. We cover our children, our spouses. Our mothers, our fathers, our sisters, brothers, we cover them, nieces, our great nieces. God, we cover our family and our extended family under the blood of God. And Lord, we thank you for your divine protection. We thank you for building us and keeping us until tomorrow night. Oh, Father, we give you great praise and great glory and great honor. Thank you, God. For the prayer. Keep us up in prayer. The warfare is great, but we understand we are in the room. We are in the room. 
And when this is all said, we are about to give birth. We're really about to give birth. So be encouraged, everybody. Thank you. For I love you guys. We love you, Marie. If you're not friends, friend her on the page. Marie, share this page. I would love for some of the Haitian brothers to see that part. Amen. That they will see that. That we are mindful of them. Amen. Amen. I, love you guys. Amen. I will see you guys tomorrow night. Love you guys. Love you guys. Love you guys. I'm excited to hear. And I want to hear some testimonies. I'm ready for some testimonies. God does it. Before we get off, I got two minutes. Anybody got a testimony? Anybody have a testimony, real quick? Does anybody have? testimony to share. Amen. Amen. Love you, Duman. Listen, does anybody have a testimony or you going to want to share tomorrow night? Does anybody want to say something? Share tomorrow night. Bless this woman. God, may our God continue for our blessings in life. Amen. 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 The Bible says we overcome by the word of our testimony. Love you, my son. We love you too, Tracy. Love you. If you have a testimony, please make sure you come back. And you share it with the woman of God. Amen. Amen. God bless you, Dana. We see you. God bless you. God bless you, Dana. God bless you, Tracy. Amen. Thank you all for sharing with us. And I have a deposit, not a deposit, but a delivery tonight. I love you, God. I thank God for you. And you guys can keep typing. And we will still see the praise reports. And for the people who watch this on the play, please put your picture up there. Because I know that there's going to be people to watch the play. If you did not share this video tonight, share it. Do not go there without sharing this video. This was not just a word for our 67 people. This is a word to the body of Christ. Now, what do I say? Do not be stingy. Do not be greedy and hold this to yourself. Please, ma'am, please, sir, share this. Share this video tonight. Know this was the word from the Lord. Amen. Bye, everyone. I love you guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>